Olivia Chow is a Toronto mayoral candidate, a former Canadian New Democratic Party Member of Parliament, and former City Councillor in Toronto. She won the Trinity Euro Spadina riding for the New Democratic Party on January 23, 2006, becoming a member of the Canadian House of Commons. In 2011, she was re-elected in her riding for her third straight win. Chow is the widow of former NDP and opposition leader Jack Layton. They were married from 1988 until his death from cancer in 2011. She speaks Cantonese, Mandarin and English. In May 2012, Chow was named one of the top 25 Canadian immigrants in Canada by Canadian Immigrant Magazine. Chow's personal memoir, titled My Journey, was published January 21, 2014. Chow resigned her seat in Parliament on March 12, 2014 in order to run in the 2014 Toronto mayoral election, she placed third. Background Chow was born in Hong Kong, to Ho Si, a schoolteacher, and Wilson E. Sun Chow, a school superintendent. She was raised in a middle-class family in Happy Valley, a residential area in Hong Kong. She immigrated to Canada with her family in 1970 at the age of 13 and lived in a high-rise unit in St. Jamestown, a neighborhood in Toronto. Her father worked odd jobs, such as delivering Chinese food and driving taxis in order to support the family. Her mother became a seamstress and a maid, and worked in a hotel laundry. Her father was physically abusive towards her half-brother, Andre, and her mother, but nurturing and loving towards Olivia. Chow was raised in a Chinese Baptist household. As a young girl she was a slow learner and had to repeat grade 3. However, she soon started to excel and she later skipped grade 8. She attended Jarvis Collegiate Institute. She studied fine arts at the Ontario College of Art and Philosophy and Religion at the University of Toronto. In 1979, she graduated with an Honours Bachelor of Arts in Fine Art from the University of Guelph. After graduation, she worked as an artist. She owned a sculpture studio and created art pieces for clients. She stills paints occasionally. She later taught at George Brown College's Assaulted Women and Children Counseling and Advocacy Program for five years. In 2005, she revealed that she had undergone surgery for thyroid cancer in 2004. She decided to speak out to raise awareness of the disease. In 2013, she was diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt syndrome type 2. She married Jack Layton in 1988 and they stayed together until his death in July 2011. On August 20, 2012 she unveiled a statue dedicated to her husband Jack Layton. Tributes to him were written in English. Chinese and French. The statue is located in Harbour Square Park at the Jack Layton Ferry Terminal. Chow was portrayed by Suk Yin Lee in the 2013 CBC television film Jack. Lee won a Canadian Screen Award for her performance. Municipal career, Chow first became active in politics working with local NDP MP Dan Heap. With his support, she ran for school board trustee, and won in 1985. Popular on the school board, she was elected to Metropolitan Toronto Council in 1991 for the downtown ward in the riding of Trinity Euro Spadina. The area has long been home to a diverse group of communities in the core of Canada's largest urban centre. Chow was re-elected several times to city council by wide margins. As councillor, Chow was an advocate for the homeless, public transit, and many other urban issues that promote sustainable development. She was also a vociferous opponent of the proposed Toronto Island Airport expansion, a controversial plan by the Toronto Port Authority. Following the amalgamation of Metropolitan Toronto, she and her husband Jack Layton were prominent members of the City Council. While sometimes critical of pro-development Mayor Mel Lastman and other suburban councillors, they worked with councillors across political lines to achieve practical progressive measures. Leighton left his seat on council to become federal leader of the NDP. Both were supporters of David Miller's successful 2003 campaign to become mayor of Toronto. Chow was forced to resign her position on the Toronto Police Services Board because, at a riot in front of the Legislative Assembly of Ontario, she informally attempted to persuade police to change their tactics. Some argued, however, 
that she was ousted for her outspoken attitude towards alleged police misconduct. Chow was renowned for her trademark bicycle, decorated with flowers and bright colors, which she rode every day to Toronto City Hall. Chow was voted Best City Councillor on numerous occasions by Toronto's alternative weeklies Now Magazine and iWeekly. In May 2012, Chow was named one of the top 25 Canadian immigrants in Canada by the Canadian Immigrant Magazine. Federal Politics In 1997, Chow ran as the new Democratic Party candidate for the Canadian House of Commons in Trinity Euro Spadina. Chow was defeated by Liberal Party incumbent Tony Iano. In 2004, Chow again won the Trinity Euro Spadina NDP nomination for the summer federal election, giving her another chance to unseat Tony Iano of the Liberal Party. With support from Jack Layton, a new urban focus of the NDP, and high party popularity nationwide, she was widely expected to win despite some criticism from voters who elected her to a municipal seat just six months prior. She managed another strong second place showing, but fell to unseat Iano by only 2% of the total vote. Tactical voting was blamed partially for Chow's defeat, as the Liberal attack ads on Stephen Harper attempted to make the election a choice between the Liberals and Conservatives, with the effect of attracting NDP-leaning voters to support the Liberals and stave off a potential Harper government. Chow also did not resign her council seat to run federally, with some suggesting that her constituents were able to vote Liberal and while still having Chow around to represent them. When the Liberal federal government was defeated on a motion of non-confidence, Chow resigned her city council seat of 14 years on November 28, 2005 to make a third run at seat in the House of Commons. She was succeeded on city council on an interim basis by Martin Silva. As Silva was not allowed to run for re-election, Chow's constituency assistant Helen Kennedy ran but lost to Adam Vaughan. During the 2006 campaign, Mike Klander, an executive of the federal Liberal Party's Ontario wing, made comments in his blog insinuating that Chow was a chow chow dog and said of her husband, I just want to say that I think Jack Layton is an asshole. Layton denounced the comments about Chow as racist, and Klander apologized and resigned. On January 23, 2006, she won the Trinity Euro Spadina seat for the NDP in the federal election. She defeated Iano by 3,667 votes, almost 6%. Along with Jack Layton she was part of only the second husband and wife team in Canadian parliamentary history. In 2007, Chow sponsored a motion calling for Japan to apologize for forcing some 200,000 women to serve as wartime sex slaves. The motion was passed unanimously by Canada's parliament in November 2007. Chow stated, For me, this isn't crimes against 200,000 women. It's crimes against humanity and all of the world's citizens have a responsibility to speak out against it. On June 3, 2008, Chow, who, originally brought in the motion, voted to implement a program which would allow conscientious objectors to a war not sanctioned by the United Nations to remain in Canada. The motion gained international attention from the New York Times, Britain's BBC and the New Zealand Press. The Toronto Star reported, it passed 137 to 110, but the motion is non-binding and the victory was bittersweet as the government is likely to ignore it. This same motion, again reintroduced by Olivia Chow in the 40th Canadian Parliament, was again passed on March 30, 2009, with a vote of 129-125. Chow has been instrumental in debates and actions surrounding Canada and Iraq war resistors. In the 2011 Canadian federal election, which saw the NDP's historic rise to official opposition, Chow was re-elected handily in her riding of Trinity Euro Spadina with a margin of more than 20,000 votes over her nearest rival. She was named critic for transport, infrastructure and communities in the official opposition shadow cabinet. She also became the first spouse of a leader of the opposition to also be an MP. However, her time in Stornoway was to be short, as Jack Layton died of cancer just three months after assuming office. Chow was in the spotlight as Layton's widow during the mourning period and state funeral, 
winning respect for her care for her husband in his last days and for her dignity and poise in grief, and her and Leighton's partnership in both life and politics was eulogized. Subsequently, she ruled out a bid for the leadership of the NDP and pledged neutrality in the leadership race. On March 12, 2014, Chow resigned her seat and registered to run in the 2014 mayoral race in Toronto, 2014 Toronto mayoral election. Chow entered the mayoral campaign in an unsuccessful attempt to unseat incumbent Ma Rob Ford after most polls taken over the previous year suggested she was best placed to win either a head-to-head -head vote against Ford or a multi-candidate contest. Ford's mayoralty has been at the center of several controversies during his tenure, most significantly over accusations, and ultimately an admission, that he had used crack cocaine and allegations that he has associated with criminals. She was the only prominent centre-left candidate running against Ford. Her other major rivals in the election, former provincial opposition leader John Tory, councillor Karen Stintz and former budget chief David Sunaki as well as Ford himself, were all centre-right candidates. Over the course of the election, Chow went from the polling favourite at the beginning of the campaign to the third-place candidate in the election. Polls suggested she failed to capitalize on her early popularity and fell victim to strategic voting from those seeking to ensure the end of the Ford era. Chow's campaign manager is John Lustinger, who previously managed David Miller's mayoral campaigns as well as federal and provincial conservative campaigns. Former federal and provincial liberal strategist Warren Kinsella is also working on her campaign. Other senior staff include former Much Music VJ Jennifer Hollett. Former NDP National Director Nathan Rotman, and Brian Topp, a former NDP leadership candidate. Supporters include former Ontario Liberal Cabinet Minister George Smith Ehrman, who was the runner up to Ford in the 2010 mayoral election, and filmmaker Dawi Pomata. Chow Euro unregistered trademark S3 priority areas are transit, children, and jobs. Her first policy announcement was about increasing bus service. She has also released policies about expanding after-school recreation programs for children aged 6 a year 11, as well as creating 5,000 jobs and training opportunities for young people through community benefits agreements. Electoral Record References Further reading, Chow, Olivia. My Journey. Toronto, HarperCollins Publishers Limited. ISBN A 978-1443428293 External links, official website, Olivia Chow Euro Parliament of Canada Biography, Olivia Chow on Twitter